One last question, if I may. Mm. The other day at the Theosophical Society, mm. you mentioned you'd mentioned you'd met some scientists, or they had explained that you could put consciousness into water. Uh, that you, the, the idea was that if you say good, and you have a the right instrument. So, that means then, without if we, if the human being could see that, then he could understand his cause and effect in the environment. Yeah. Especially if we look nowadays, if you have, if he has the skull telling that Simad Bhagavatam. Bachelor experiments mm -hmm. for this age, a special age. This just whatever auspicious you think in mind. Even if you are not, you are not, you are not performing this. You can get benefit, same benefit, though you are not performing. There is a connection. Yeah. But auspicious thing, bad things. When you perform. And then it can affect to your life. But if no performance. Yeah. But this 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 are very nice, you know. So the thing, but my point is this: a thing. You should think in mind a specious thing. It's working. Ah. So when we say that a good, ah, then. It's Molecular changing. The Lord's desire. You can see this uh, many neuroscience. Yes. Nowadays also, they are, they agree that if uh, before they are not agree, but now they are, they look with the microscope machine that electron, molecular, all they are moving according to the desire of observer. So that's okay. very significant. Very significant. That's almost like the image in a mirror. Yeah. That the only the observer is seeing their own image. Yeah. So we can actually affect our environment by intention. Intention, yeah. So there are many ways you can see. If our intents are proper, if you conceive child, then our child will come to us with proper proper intention. If our intention for sex desire and conceiving child, mm. it creates a lot of violence in society. Yes. What is going on now? So first of all, uh, as a human being, we have to establish the pious intention. Mm -hmm. Then everything can pass. When everything pass, there's no violence, mm -hmm. no conflict, no fighting. Most important, mm -hmm. as a as a human being. I think we have to establish it, start to establish it. We lost it. We had, now we lost it. Yes. Suppose we have that books, Nanudeshti, Kaling, Samrat, Saranga, Bhuga, Saranga, that Srimad Bhagavatam, mm. first yes, canto, yes. yeah. we can show him that. Very nice. Ah, that if you look what I tell you, mm -hmm. that's that's how they how they explain. Parishit Maharaj, that's what Bhagavatam said. Parishit Maharaj, he can kill Koli, Koli Samrat. Ah, he can kill Koli. Acha, yes. But he is not killing. Ah, because he's a pure king. The a pure king, not actually. He's he just like a bees. Bees going to the flower. Uh -huh. The only honey. Not anything. Gotcha. So, called, Parishit Maharaj knew the essence of 
this age, Kalijuga. People have benefit just to think a specious thing, they can get the, the, the benefit, the specious thing, even they are not performing the specious thing. Mm -hmm. So this age is very special age. Just to think, and then you can have. Give it to him. Chapter 18, correct? Chapter 18, slope number 7. First canto. Verse number 7. Thank you. Maharaj Parikshit was a realist. The first two chant is ah. Bhas. Nanut Visti Kalim Samrat Saranga Bhuko Saranga Eva Sarabhuk Kusalani Asu Sidhuyanti Sidhyanti. Anyway, let us read the name. Maharaj Prikshit was a realist, like the bees who only accept the essence of a flower. He knew perfectly well that in this age of Kali, auspicious things produce good effects immediately, whereas inauspicious acts must be actually performed to render effects. Mm -hmm. So he was never envious to the personality of Kali. Parishit Maharaj, he knew that. He can kill Kali, mm. but he keep alive, he must have a benefit. He's a real Uluisar, Uluisar to all the living beings. Thank you very much, Maharaj. Thank you very much. Thanks, Peter. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Perfect. That is very nice. <clears throat> Did you actually get to see the microscope or they were just telling you? Cool. You, you didn't actually see some visual of how the molecules would change. They were just telling the scientist. Yeah. There's, there's actually one documentary I have, Maharaj, all about this. I can give it to you if you like. Yeah. You know, uh, what, what the bleep? Yes, what I the bleep do we know? I'm trying to make something similar uh -huh. based around bhakti. Mm -hmm. But I'm also using some high order scientists who are proving this. Mm -hmm. What they're saying, the, the new scientists are saying we have to create a new hygiene, which is cleanliness. Then they say we have to... Uh... But you have to know this. Now, nowadays, scientists, out of ego, what their creation, what they're creating, that create a lot of trouble. Now, it looks the chemical. All river. Oh, they're all polluted. Finished. It was a chemical. Now they realize now we made mistake. Yes. So it's very difficult to understand. Uh, we should not uh, blindly believe all scientists if they are not accepting Lord. Yes. I think they, if they create anything by the blessings of Lord, then it can be helpful. That creation can be helpful forever. Yes. For our society. But look, it looks like they are creating with, out of their passion. Um, uh, they are, therefore, uh, they create a lot of violence in society, a lot yes. of problems in society. Mm. Yes, when, when uh, Robert, Robert Oppenheimer, mm. when he built the nuclear bomb, mm. he said, I have become death. <laughs> so it's a misquote of the Srimad Bhagavatam, Death I Am, Destroyer of Worlds, mm -hmm. or Bhagavad Gita. So when he made the bomb, 
He also said, if a thousand suns were to rise at the same time, it wouldn't compare to this, the bomb. So he's using Bhagavatam to misquote. Instead of recognizing Krishna, he's recognizing the energy of a destructive weapon. Mm -hmm. And that's why he said, oh, now I've become death. Yeah. Science misused. Science misusing the free will. What Lord gave us. Mm. And avoiding Lord's blessings. Yes. But the blessings of the Lord, they have intelligence. But they are using their intelligence uh, for establishing the ego and destroying art. Maharaj, you're just finishing your a world tour, going to South Africa, then back to India. Mm. When you travel around the world, do you ever see or hear things that our old Vedic culture, sort of coming through the ages, just elements, trace elements? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Do you know? Well, when you're traveling, do you see any evidences that the Vedic culture was once global? Many things. Everything is connected with Vedic culture. Yes. If you look, everyone, uh, they Nowadays, if you look, every place is, like in, if you go to Africa, they believe God, but God's form was they believe, and it, it, it was black. That God from black, mm -hmm. black. But if you look at their culture, almost the same, one due to the association, it is little changes, but if you look at their past, yes, it was same. That it, their connection with Vedas. Yes, I think that the uh, I think the country Kenya mm -hmm. is a mispronunciation of Kamiya. Kamiya, Kamiya. Really? Therefore, Kilimanjaro would be Kalima. Really? Yeah. There is a mountain range there called Unguru Mountains. Uh -huh. So everywhere I look at the map uh -huh. and I see, for instance, Lake Victoria was called Lake Nyasa. Before uh -huh. the British came, it was called Nyasa, which is a Vedic word, Sanskrit word. Even the word Nile is actually the Sanskrit word blue, Nila. Really? The, the Nile River used to be called the Great Krishna River. So there's three Niles, there's the Blue Nile, we're saying blue in English, then we're saying blue in Sanskrit, and blue, then Nila, Nile. Mm -hmm. uh, the other two colours of the river were black and white, Black Nile and the White Nile. So for me, I think one might be told oh, for Balaram, we don't know so many thousand years ago. But anyway, people's behavior, if you look, then you can see there's a connection with the Vedas, Vedic culture, Vedic language, many language you can see similarity. I can give one one example. I'm where all is. Like the bazaar. Bazaar, yes. Yeah? In Russian language, there's a bazaar, means market. This one market. In our language, Bajar also. Huh? Mm -hmm. Market. Even this Portugal language, also Bajar. Which language? Portugal. Portuguese. Portuguese. Bazaar. If there is connection with that, just we lost the connection, we don't know. Yes. Just if you look this history of uh, creation, then you can see Maharaj Uttanpal, uh, he was king of the whole world. Maharaj Uttanpal. Yeah. Also Parishit Maharaj. Yes. Also. 
sin. Yes. But because of the power politics, yeah, we become divided after that. Yes. You can see on India. India before Afghanistan, uh, Pakistan, Bangladesh, India. In my life, I saw. Yes. <laughs> now they have four countries. So even Afghanistan, that was only annexed by the British and the Russians. Yeah. So that was part of India. You can see the China. Like yesterday, I saw the sculpture of China. The forcefully, the government, present government, they want to make them like, they want to make them like, like communist. Yes, no religion. But internally, if you look there, go inside, you can see people don't like, people like, to be connected to the Lord, the believe God. Yes. Absolutely. So they all have same but in different mold they are representing their faith. Uh, but base, I think everything from Vedas. Correct. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you.